Hello guys, first of all, welcome to today's episode of D2C and thanks a lot for your amazing comments for the first episode of D2C. And to today's episode, I'm back with another talk and the talk is called as Duo Maze, right? So see, Duo Maze, the brand names are catchy and self-revealing. Duo means two, right? Maze means something into the nose. So it's a nasal spray, which has two chemicals. Now let us see, what are those chemicals, right? What are those chemicals? All right. Here it is. So in this spray, we have one chemical is azelastin, second is uh, fluticasone, right? So azelastin and fluticasone. Azelastin is a second generation antihistaminic, which is topical one, can, that can be given by nasal spray. And mometasone, uh, sorry, fluticasone, obviously is an intranasal steroid, right? Now, if the question first of all that goes to you is, this nasal spray, that is do nasal, nasal spray, will be indicated for which disease yes you heard it right i've taught you about this in the nd also you must have read about the disease right so guys uh, i know uh, all of you must have got the answer right by now yeah and the disease is called as allergic rhinitis and in allergic rhinitis two drugs that are more commonly used are topical uh, antihistaminic second generation and topical steroids that is uh, uh, fluticasone right now why combining these two drugs now let us try to understand first of all the best drug, the best drug in allergic rhinitis to control the symptoms, the best overall, it is fluticasone, right? There is a reason why I brought you steroids are the drug of choice. Intranasal steroids are the drug of choice for allergic rhinitis, right? Best are fluticasone for long-term maintenance, best. But fastest acting to relieve the symptoms is azelastin or antihistaminic. So if we combine both, see, there are people who will prescribe only azelastin, there are people who will combine uh, prescribe only fluticasone, right? But if it is up to me, I have to prescribe not to patients, but sometimes to my relatives and friends. Then I give this one. The reason being, um, it would it would very fast take care of the symptoms as a lasting, and then for long term management, steroids would take over as a lasting, right? Now let me tell you that this duo nasal spray. Now, in how many sprays we need to sprinkle into each nose, one to two, right? Depending upon, so if one uh, one spray per nose is not effective, we can go for two sprays uh, and that is effective in most of the cases. And total there are 70 metered doses. So 70 times it can be sprayed and the price is around 486 rupees, right? 486 rupees. So each spray is around seven rupees. So it is not cheap, I would say, for majority of the population, all right? now. In this duo nasal spray, there is one more mark and they have starred, highlighted it. It is called as, it is order free. You know why? They have marked specifically order free because the previous uh, salts of uh, azelastin used to be bitter in taste and it, it used to have some smell as well. But in, in the new formulations that have been removed, so they want to regain those customers who have left because of that bitter taste and smell, right? Sometimes you learn from your practice, right? And We'll start with azelastin, fluticasone, duo nase, and once the symptoms are controlled, then for long-term management, right, we can use, we can shift the patient to only fluticasone at the lowest possible dose, that is one, one nasal spray into each nose. So guys, that's it today. Uh, our aim was to discuss a topical antihistaminic and a steroid, that is uh, duo nase, which can be given into the nasal cavities for treatment of allergic rhinitis. So guys, if these videos are helping you, please let me know in the comment box and your love for me, for my videos, they feed, they're feeder for me to make even better, better videos, guys. Love you all, tata, bye-bye.